welcome back. Um, this is our last set of the evening. Uh, that was some that was some one-sided games there by Flash and Pooh, but definitely uh, Flash showing us what amazing control he has and why he is ranked so high on that. What impressed me most. Uh about that match was uh, his control with the uh, Wraiths taking out those uh, scourges uh, without doing uh, much damage. Uh, of course, in the first match, uh, we're talking actually off camera about uh, just his control in terms of using those three Marines uh, with the two SCVs. Oh, yeah, and then as like, the Nurglings like, surrounded him and he was able to pick those off. Didn't lose a single SCV or uh, a Marine as uh, I think there were eight drones that came out uh, to, to try to uh, uh, fight them off. But uh, just amazing control by, uh, by uh, Flash, and I think that was proven there. Uh, moving on to our next game, however, of course, uh, we have uh, one more game to go. GG Play coming up against uh, Into the Rainbow. Uh, this is definitely going to be a good match. I think there's been a lot of debate as to uh, which one of these players is going to win this match. Uh, GG Play is, is clearly ranked higher, yes. but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're the favorite. A lot of people actually have been uh, on Into the Rainbow's uh, bandwagon coming into this match. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he just again, I, I keep saying this, but the games that he's been playing here on the goal, you know, you know it's been, and I told you guys this, 837 days since Into the Rainbow has like one, oh no, not days anymore, I guess two years and five months, somewhere around there, can't be specific with the days, um, since he's won an individual match, like individual league match, and so coming back, it's like a huge comeback for him, you know, for him to even make it this far, he's beat out um, Notice two weeks ago, he beat out a Zhang last week, and here he is facing GG Play. Now, like you said, GG Play is ranked higher. How how do you think he's going to fare on this? You know, I mean, he's a very established player. Um, I, I, I like ZG Play. I mean, he's definitely, I mean, as I mentioned, I mean, I'm a big fan of the uh, Zergling race, and I think uh, he's going to be uh, definitely a player that I'd like to see do well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, 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 now that Gold Rush is out, he's one of my favorite players as yeah. well. But uh, GG Play, definitely one of my favorite players as well. And uh, there he is. look at him right now. Yep, there he is. Last season, he made it to the round of 64. Um, where he lost there two to one, um, and here he's seated now into this same round of 64. Uh, there's his uh, win rate, and sung means win, pe means here's your Korean lesson of the day means loss. 184 and, uh, wins, 139 losses. Yep, and he is ranked 28 according to Kespa. And that's a fair rating. I mean, he has uh, done well. He's one of those players that is definitely capable of, of winning a tournament. So he's done that in the past. But uh, the question is. How is he going to be on a consistent basis, day in, day out, playing whether it's somebody higher than you, someone that's lower than you? Um, you know, those are what make the difference between maybe like a 25th to a 50th ranked yeah. player compared to someone who's ranked in the top five, is that your consistency of being able to knock off people that are lower ranked than you. Uh, one of those people being, in this case, Into the Rainbow. All right, here he is. Um, well, he wasn't in season one. And uh, season two, as you can see there, like I told you guys, um, he beat out Notice, and then he beat out a Zhang, and now he is here. Um, he's definitely played more games. He's been around longer. 274 wins, 216 losses, and his ranking is 148, which is where um, Who was. But to be honest, I think Rainbow plays a little bit better than Who does. Well, also, uh, he doesn't have to face... <laughs> Flash. Yeah. That, that's probably the biggest factor as well. Um, of course, uh, your skills do matter, but also who you play is going to be a uh, factor as well. Protoss versus uh, Zerg matchup, uh, one of my favorites um, that we get to see. Why is that? Well, I think with uh, Protoss versus Zerg, there's so many different uh, types of uh, things that can happen. Uh, which way is a Protoss player going to go? Which way is a Zerg player? You have different options. I think when you have Zerg versus Terran, you pretty much know no, which units yeah. you're going to see. Obviously, Zerg versus Zerg, there's only pretty much three units you ever see. Uh, Zergling, Scourges, and Mutalists, for instance. So in this sense, we can see all sorts of different uh, units, whether it's going to be Archons, Reavers. Yeah. Uh, um, this as well is as, Rainbow. Uh, we'll see Reavers, yeah. hopefully. And of course, uh, on the other side, from the Zerg side, I mean... There's all sorts of different uh, units that you might see depending on how long the game goes. Sometimes you'll see just about every unit. Everything, that, uh, yeah, that's true, that, that's, that's true. Nice so I think that's uh, what I enjoy about a Zerg uh, Protoss matchup. Okay, well, GG Play right now is on a three game consecutive win streak. Um, in fact, let's see, who did he win? Um, he beat Light, The Rock, and Flash, actually. So, I mean, he's been doing pretty well. Against Terran, let's see, in the Incrit Star League 2008, he's 3 1 versus Protoss.
So it'll be interesting to see. It, it is going to be interesting. You know, with with uh, Into the Rainbow, also keep in mind that uh, in, in the round, the previous two rounds uh, that have led him to the round of 64, he's won those matches two to one. So he has lost a couple of uh, match uh, or a match in uh, each of those, a round in each of those matches. So uh, maybe uh, something will slow him down here. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I personally have to say that uh, you know I want Rainwood to win. Um, I do enjoy his gameplay, and I think the game is going to start soon. Actually. I think we are just about ready to go, and you know I'm, I'm sure that uh, Nick is somewhere watching as well, going for the potas as well. I think he is <laughs> absolutely. He really loved how Rainbow plays. All right, last game of the evening. Let's take a look at it. Let's get going. We have our first game here on Chu Pongyang. We have um, Rainbow on the top left, and we have wow, just his top name. Right. Gigi, oh, top right, top right, and Gigi play on the bottom left. And uh, as you guys read in that little expert, it's been three years between before these uh, uh, since, they've since met. they've met. Wow, I can't talk tonight. Well, sometimes you know, like uh, when you have players like uh, let's say, for instance, Flash and uh, Stork, for instance, uh, they end up playing each other uh, quite a bit. Oh, uh, she just figured out that uh, she's on camera. <laughs> Don't be shy. Kor Koreans, generally speaking, are uh, a little bit shy when they're on camera. And look at this. Wow. 67% uh, of uh, people surveyed feel that uh, Into the Rainbow will actually beat GG Play. So, uh, as I mentioned, GG Play is higher ranked, but I'm telling you, right now, there has been this uh, this bandwagon of followers that have been uh, jumping on for uh, Into the Rainbow as a play. Absolutely. I mean, if you saw the way he was playing, I mean, I, I, we watched it before, yeah. Um, if you saw the games that he played before, and if you haven't, go log on to GOMTV.net right now and go watch Rainbow's previous games. Because they, just, the, the things that he did... I can't even talk. Oh, man. Ugh, it makes me tongue-tied. It makes me tongue-tied. <laughs> That's how good he has been. Well, let's see uh, what uh, they're doing here. Is, uh, is GG Play going... You know, he's just going to be scouting. He's uh, scouting rather than uh, making his uh, second hatchery. Or is he going to expand into a different area? He is indeed. Okay, so he's expanding already, but uh, he, he's going to uh, set it off a bit. Bit of a remote hatchery. We'll see uh, how that comes into play. Meanwhile, uh, into the rainbow, checking out the base of GG Play, realizing that his spotting pool is now coming. Looked like uh, he was trying to get that probe right onto the exact ground of uh, GG Play to uh, slow him down even two or three seconds from uh, getting that uh, spawning pool up. Uh, unsuccessful, however, and GG Play uh, does indeed have his uh, spawning pool going. Meanwhile, uh, Into the Rainbow already working on his uh, fast nexus. GG Play trying to push that probe back a bit. And as typical for uh, Protoss against Zerg, the uh, forge is immediately up before the gateway. And again, it looks like Into the Rainbow trying to slow down GG Play from making his uh, third hatchery. Trying to uh, harass that drone as well as uh, pull it away from its natural mineral patch that uh, he would like to make the hatchery at. Finally, GG Play does get his hatchery going. Um, I'm going to ask you um, guys if you could not spam the Gome TV forum boards. Um, it's really a disservice to us, and uh, it's actually kind of disrespectful if you think about it. So please don't do that. Cannon already being built for Into the Rainbow. Of course, the forums and message boards there is a service for you. Let's uh, try to keep it that way. Yeah, sorry about that. That was a... Uh, this message was brought to you by GoTV. <laughs> 
Well, looks like a couple of Zerglings trying to get into the main base. They do get in there quite easily. Oh no, a little bit of harassment here for GG Play. How is Into the Rainbow going to deal with this? See if he can knock off any probes. He is not yet. He's uh, sucking these probes off the mineral, however, more than anything. He hasn't uh, taken anything down, but he is slowing down the build right now. Slowing down the mining process for Into the Rainbow. Might not seem like much, but uh, when you're at this level, every little bit of micro uh, helps. Just slowing down your opponent slightly, a big difference that can make for you. Those two Zerglings slowing down the probes working on the main base for Into the Rainbow. One Zealot out being attacked by four Zerglings. He doesn't want to get into that fight. Zealot's got to back off towards his cannon. Those two Zerglings still uh, causing some havoc. One of them down to just five hit points. So, uh... GG Play doing a good job of keeping it moving. And as he works on the Spire, he does lose one Zergling. Now keep in mind, I mean the Zerglings don't matter that he's got it going, but he's getting information on the base of what Into the Rainbow is doing. At the same time, he's forcing those two probes to not be mining. That's probably an extra 50 to 60 uh, mineral points that uh, Into the Rainbow could have right now had those two Zerglings not been on his base. Maybe even more. Two, two uh, probes like that, maybe even 100 mineral points for that matter. Looks like they finally got the Zergling out. And now, back to normal on the base for Into the Rainbow. Spire has been built, by the way, for uh, GG Play. I can't remember if I mentioned that already. And there is the starport with the Templar Archives being uh, built right now for Into the Rainbow. We are going to see a tech game. That's the other thing, that, I, by the way, that I like about uh, Zerg and Photos matchups is that uh, you usually do see a lot of teching um, into the higher units in this game. And here is the Corsair already out. Let's see if they can uh, knock off a couple of Overlords or not. Well, I was going to ask you this question because someone had uh, presented it on the GoTV forum. Um, how come in, in professional games we don't see a lot of the higher, higher up uh, units? Well, basically, it's just because the game doesn't go that long. I mean, yeah. uh, for the most part, um, you you would see it if the game is in a stalemate, for instance. But uh, it's just uh, simply not the case because uh, eventually one one uh, opponent will take an advantage and. Uh, you know, rather than teching up, you want to produce units. And the fact that you have to produce those units, it's going to slow you down in terms of your tech. But, uh, you know, if you see, like, the games that go on for 45 minutes, uh, sometimes even an hour, then uh, you will see uh, some of the, uh, harder, the uh, higher units. Dark Templar out for Into the Rainbow. Surrounded, and it's... Oh, it's still alive! That's going to be crucial, keeping that alive! And he does get it just in time. A crucial play there for GG play. Getting that Dark Templar, had that gotten through, that uh, could have caused much more havoc than it was able to do. And now here comes a Hydralisk push. This could mean a little bit of trouble because of the fact that uh, Into the Rainbow is teching up. He's probably not going to have the same number of units that GG play has right now. We'll also have to see if he has the uh, Psionic Storm upgrade with the High Templar that is uh, protecting his expansion right now. If it is not... Oh! Scourges do not spot that Corsair. And he does not go with the... Uh, he does not go... Oh, this is going to hurt! He did not... Oh, look at this timing for, for GG Play easily knocking off the cannon and then going after the Archon. If he gets this Archon, then Into the Rainbow's going to be in a lot of trouble. Into the Rainbow, big trouble right now. GG Play pushing in with the Hydralisk. He is not going to have enough for a Psionic Storm with that High Templar that is up on the ramp and he loses it with ease. Into the Rainbow in a lot of trouble here. Hydralisk onto the main base, knocking off another High Templar. GG Play is on a roll right now. He is going to be dominating this game by the looks of it right now after the beautiful timing. You know, he could not have been there at a better time. Sometimes it's just the way it works out, but it was so unfortunate for Into the Rainbow because he was just making an Archon at that moment. 
I, I, I wonder if, if he would have had a psionic storm to use had he not merged the uh, the High Templars to, to make that Archon. Maybe this would be a different game right now, but as it looks right now, Into the Rainbow is is uh, against the ropes, and there's GG! GG Play takes this one with a beautiful timing push with the Hydralisks. Also keep in mind the fact that he was able to get the Dark Templar yeah. at that moment. Who knows what could have happened if that Dark Templar slipped through the crack. It almost did. This could have been a completely different game. All right, a very disappointed uh, Rainbow there in the booth. Um, as you guys have commented, yeah, Rainbow is one of the players that does show more emotion in his interviews, when he wins, uh, when he loses. And there we were able to definitely see his disappointment right in his face, yeah. Yeah, at the same time, uh, here's a guy who, who, who lost... Um, around in each of the, the two matches that uh, he's played uh, to get to the round of 64. Mm -hmm. So it's a player that is not accustomed to, to rolling through 2-0, two 2-0, nothing, two nothing. you lose and all of a sudden you get totally dejected, don't know what to do. Here's a person, he, he does have losses under his belt, so he should be able to get himself back together and uh, hopefully put in a better showing in uh, the, the next game. Um, I don't think he played terrible. Yeah. He, he did, it, 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 wasn't, it was just the timing. Yeah, it's just sometimes timing Timing plays, it's kind of unfortunate the way it works. Um, the other important thing was also that Zergling, that uh, that GG play was able to keep on the main base uh, for, for a long time, harassing those probes, keeping them going. That could have been some extra minerals for them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that definitely. was that game. But either way, round one is complete. We have another round coming up, and it looks like we're just about uh, set to go yeah. uh, for the second round. They're both in the game now. We can see that. Um, I think they're starting now.